Here's the situation. You have performance statistics from your team. What you need is a way to apply a performance ranking for each person, but you want to give them a quantitative number. You want to come up with a way, as a smart manager, to rank these people void of any judgment. Because you want it fair, you want it equitable. You don't want anybody arguing, you don't want to be accused of playing favorites. So first thing you need to do is start out with a list of their actual results. Here's my list. This is what they actually were able to accomplish. Next thing I'm going to do is come up with a scale for those results. Let me explain this. Here's each category has its own scale. It's a scale from 1 to 6. This first one here says if you get 80 to just under 90, that's worth a 1. If you get 90 to just under 100, that's worth a 2, and so on. Next step is to explain what my scale means to everybody so everybody can clearly see what their number score represents. So if you get anywhere between a 3 and a 3.99, then you meet expectations. Last step is to calculate it out and find everybody's score. Here I'm using a simple HLOOKUP formula. I'm going to go up to the top here, find Joe's quota attainment, which is 95%. This HLOOKUP formula is working on this range. It's going to find 95%, which is between 90 and just under 100, and it should have returned a 2, which it did. So this is working. Next thing I did was I applied weights to each category because I didn't think these categories were evenly important. So I thought quota attainment was the most important so I gave it a heavier weight. Here's how I calculated the score. I used the sum product formula because I used weights. So it's going to take these numbers, multiply them by these weights, add them together, and there's the score. Now if I didn't want to use weights, I can make each weight exactly the same. They all have to add up to 100. Whatever I choose to use here has to add up to 100. Or I could just remove this completely and instead of using some product I would have used average. Here I have an index match combo formula to go and retrieve what this score means from my list here. It's going to go uh, pull back whatever is in C for the appropriate row. So it's going to look for the match for G42, this 3 in this B column and then pull back whatever's on the row in column C. I use the negative 1 argument here at the end of the match formula and what that does is says find the smallest value greater than the lookup value. So here's a 3. What's the smallest value greater than 3? It's 399. That's the row. It pulls back meets expectations. And that's how you do it. This is very fair for everybody. They can clearly see how they rank against the team. Everybody gets applied the same process, and you can even sort this from highest to lowest so they, they can be ranked against themselves, and you can put the top person at the top, rightly so. Let me show you how I did that. And that is a way to solve this need.